The Stunning Transformation of Prince Harry Henry Charles Albert David, or as we know him, Prince Harry. It's hard to find someone these days who doesn't know the famous British. He's been in the spotlight literally since birth, and has had to adapt to that lifestyle ever since. Throughout the years, Prince Harry has brought some of the biggest drama to Buckingham Palace, but he has also taken huge steps with his military service and charity work. It's time to take a step back and look at the history and transformation of our favorite royal red. Having Princess Diana as a mom. On September 15, 1984, Prince Harry was born to parents Charles and Diana, Prince and Princess of Wales. The birth of another boy after Big Brother William was celebrated throughout the United Kingdom. From that moment forward, all had their eyes on Harry. As his first years went by, it was clear Prince Harry had the looks of his mother. According to Vogue, Princess Diana called Harry, my little Spencer. This wasn't just because he had the red locks attributed to Diana's side of the family, but also the personality. She said Harry's the naughty one, just like me, but with the naughty also comes the nice. Even as a small child, Prince Harry and his brother William went with their mother to various charity and volunteering events. According to the Telegraph, she hoped it would help her sons understand people's emotions, hopes and dreams. And this kindness was not just for the people. As a child, Prince Harry used to be the one to tend to the sheep at the family's country estate. Like mother, like son. He had a taste of regular childhood. Prince Harry was just like any other kid growing up. So what did the little prince eat for dinner? According to the royal chef at the time, Doreen McGrady, pizza, burgers and spaghetti, and meatballs could be found on the menu from time to time. As McGrady said, they were royal children, but they still had children's palates. And it wasn't just the type of food that made Princes William and Harry feel like normal children. Princess Diana also made it a family meal. McGrady said, the food was actually put on the sideboard, and they just go and help themselves, as opposed to in the palace, where they're served each course. He experienced heartbreak as a kid. Family drama seemed to take over Prince Harry's life as a kid. In August of 1996, when the prince was 11 years old, his parents divorced. Then just a year later, the 12-year-old lost his mother, who died in a car accident in Paris. Not only did he and his brother have to deal with the tragedy themselves, but were surrounded by the incident by an media. For many years, the prince never addressed the difficult time in his family's lives. Then, in 2016, Prince Harry reflected on the loss of his mother, telling BBC, I really regret not ever talking about it. For the first 28 years of my life, I never talked about it. He wanted to be a bad boy. As time went on, Prince Harry continued his life doing what was expected of him. And this included Eaton. In September of 1998, the 13-year-old joined his older brother at the Berkshire School, where he would live during his studies, with a bodyguard living in the room next door full, time of course. And it wasn't just the studies that were now different for the prince, but even his day, to day wardrobe. From the black tailcoat, to the waistcoat and stiff collar, the equal uniform dated back to the 19th century. But not all would have been thrilled about the decision to send Harry to Eton. According to BBC News, Princess Diana had been concerned that he was perhaps not as academically inclined as Prince William, and apparently the princess was not the only one who felt that way. Much later, in 2015, Prince Harry confessed that he didn't enjoy school. The Telegraph reported 
that while speaking to a group of children at a Cape Town Youth Center, he said, I would like to have come to a place like this. When I was at school, I wanted to be the bad boy. He created some royal controversy. The last few years at Eton were not the easiest for Prince Harry. In 2001, the 16-year-old admitted to drinking underage. According to The Guardian, the prince was running with the wrong crowd when these activities started to happen. After hearing this, his father asked Prince William to encourage his brother to visit the Featherstone Lodge Rehabilitation Centre in South London. After this incident, Prince Harry was still known for his partying, but he focused on school and graduated from Eton in 2003. Then in 2005, the 20-year-old was back in the media for a controversial decision. He was photographed wearing a Nazi uniform to a costume party, and the media response and disgust was immediate. The prince apologized in a statement, saying he was very sorry if I caused any offense or embarrassment to anyone. It was a poor choice of costume, and I apologize. After years of drinking and partying, Prince Harry was ready to take the next step and move on. The media hurt his relationships. Prince Harry may have been the center of media attention for his various scandals, but his dating life also took center stage for paparazzi and millions of jealous girls around the world. Prince Harry was the bad boy in the royal family, who seemed fun to be with. After his schooling was complete, Prince Harry's relationships began to take shape. His longest relationship and first serious girlfriend was Chelsea Davy. They met in Africa during Prince Harry's gap year between graduating from Eton College and joining the army. Whenever the media caught the two together, it felt like a real relationship and never a photo opportunity. They dressed casually and the couple's chemistry was obvious. However, the intense media focus took a toll. As Davy later told the Times, I found it tough. It's not something you get used to. The relationship lasted on and off for about seven years, but the intense spotlight ended up being too much, and the couple broke up in 2010. But the 24-year-old prince had learned his lesson about drama in the past, and the split with 23-year-old Davy was amicable. A royal source confirmed to people, they are remaining friends. There have been all sorts of reasons given for the split, but suffice it to say they felt that it had run its course. The same result happened with the prince's next long-term relationship with Cressida Bonas, heiress, and aspiring actress. The couple dated from 2012 to 2014, and things ended as Bonas felt overwhelmed by the media's criticism. A man of the military, After those years of dating drama, Prince Harry became a man of the military. In May of 2005, the 20-year-old prince joined the British Army. After working his way up for years, the prince eventually became an Apache aircraft commander. Throughout this time, Prince Harry served two tours in Afghanistan, and in 2014, he took a staff officer role in London. It was during this time the partying prince changed his ways. He began to work more closely with charities. Once in his staff officer role, the prince was able to focus on organizing the Invictus Games, an international sports event in which wounded and sick armed service personnel can compete. According to today, when the prince made the decision to retire from the military in June 2015, he wanted to spend more time helping wounded service members, battling AIDS, and working with other charities. He was now in the news not for the scandals, but for giving back to others. A Prince with a Passion for Charity Since leaving the military in 2015, Prince Harry has constantly been seen out and about at various charity events. 
Still with a clear focus on the Invictus Games, the Prince has continued to give back to a variety of organizations. In October of 2016, the 32-year-old attended an event for the Well Child Charity, which recognized the bravery of children with intense illnesses and those who help take care of them. Many of events and organizations, the Prince takes part in support children in need. This is where we see the fun Prince Harry come out, not out late partying, but volunteering and helping families in need. In November, the Prince could be found in Antigua, joining in during a youth sports festival. At these events, the Prince is a kid himself, dancing with everyone and playing soccer and volleyball. He found romance with an American actress. Prince Harry has come a long way over the years as a royal, who's had to deal with the spotlight since birth. He's had tough times, but we've always had a soft spot for the lovable royal. He continues to give back to children in need, people with AIDS, those in the military, and so forth. And he always does it with that Prince Harry grin, we've grown to love. And what about the prince's love life? The 32-year-old began dating then 35-year-old American actress Meghan Markle. The couple met in July 2016, and the whirlwind romance then began. Prince Harry and Markle later described to BBC News the story of how they met. And just like many couples, it was through a mutual friend. The romance took off quickly. As Prince Harry described during the interview, we met once and then twice, back to back, two dates in London, and then it was I think about three, maybe four weeks later, that I managed to persuade her to come and join me in Botswana. And we camped out with each other under the stars. She came and joined me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. Okay, I take it back. That may not exactly be a story that many couples can relate to. He stood up to the press about their treatment of Meghan Markle. It became very clear that this relationship was serious for Prince Harry, when in November of 2016, a statement was released from the communications secretary to Prince Harry. In this statement, Prince Harry addressed the harassment that Markle had been facing. Part of the statement read, some of this has been very public. The smear on the front page of a national newspaper. The racial undertones of comment pieces. And the outright sexism and racism of social media trolls and web article comments. Some of it has been hidden from the public. The nightly legal battles to keep defamatory stories out of papers. Her mother having to struggle past photographers in order to get to her front door. The attempts of reporters and photographers to gain illegal entry to her home. Even though this was a formal statement, the Prince's emotions were evident. The statement also said, Prince Harry is worried about Marvel's safety and is deeply disappointed that he has not been able to protect her. It is not right that a few months into a relationship with him, that MS false stop Markle should be subjected to such a storm. He finally got engaged to the love of his life. And then, just a year after that initial statement to the press, the royal engagement was officially announced. The news came from the Clarence House Twitter account. As the tweet read, the Prince of Wales is delighted to announce the engagement of Prince Harry to Meghan Markle. If you weren't sure just how classy Prince Harry is, the statement continued, Prince Harry also sought and received the blessing of Markle's parents. The happy couple opened up about their relationship and the future. As the happy couple spoke of their relationship on BBC News, it seemed like they could be any couple talking of their exciting news. Prince Harry went into detail about the moment he popped the question, sharing, she didn't even let me finish, she said, can I say, yes, can I say yes, and then there were hugs. I had the ring on my finger, and I was like, can I give you the ring? 
She goes, Oh yes, the ring. He opened up and gushed about his love for Megan. He said, I fell in love with Megan so incredibly quickly. It was a confirmation to me that all the stars were aligned. This beautiful woman literally tripped and fell into my life. I fell into her life and the fact that she will be unbelievably good at the job part of it, as well as obviously a huge relief to me, because she'll be able to deal with everything else that comes with it. Don't stop.